My name is Tannis Corley Leonardi, and this is one of my athletic performance contextualizations videos here on my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. This is the only YouTube channel I've ever uploaded content to, is my one and only channel. Um, and historically, I had, had, I've had other accounts for like, um, school. Like if school gave me an email and it was through Google, then I'd have an address um, kind of thing. But I've only ever produced content on this one channel. So if you're looking for these videos, these athletic performance contextualization videos, you've come to the right place. So I want to talk about a, um, a little bit of a different contextualization today. So I've actually covered this race before on this channel in video form within a week of it happening. And the race is the Maxime Grousset 100 meter butterfly at the 2023 French Elite Swimming Championships in Rene, France. His time was 50.61 seconds in the final on Friday, 16 June 2023. He won the gold medal and set a French national record and it was a personal best time. I do not put personal best French national record or national record or record or medal in the video descriptions. Um, not because I view that as cheating, just that, um, this is about the person and that's part of the context of their time however it's really about um, the race itself um, that kind of thing and so right because people read the video description go I'm not gonna watch unless the person won the gold medal and the person won the gold medal so but I'm not gonna put it in the video description right there's a little bit of uh, I, b I believe in autonomy, so they don't have to get the information from here, but if they go search Google or something like that for this person, they might find it that way. I'm not a everything, all roads lead to me kind of person. Uh, so yes, this is, I'm going to provide my take and perspective on his performance and contextualize it actually a little bit like I did um, uh, back on 20 June 2023. So this one was on Friday, 16 June 2023, and I covered it on Tuesday, 20 June 2023. Filmed a video, published it same day, and I, in that video, I'll link in the video description, as well as my playlist, Athletic Performance Contextualizations and Lucky Wallaby Courier, which is what I wrote and published about this race through, um, both here on YouTube and uh, print, if none other than on my computer. And so he, this race I've covered before, and in close proximity, as in within a week of it happening, and as part of not on its own so this time I'm treating it on its own versus in the past it was with other results from the French and Australian swimming championships 2023 so his swim it was the fastest time by France in the race male or female of 50.61 seconds and it was a different race in that well, it's a national, so it's a national level competition, though open to competitors from outside of France as well. However, national level, the French Elite Swimming Championships. And so what that tends to mean is sometimes people will compete at a national championships outside of their own country and they might bring some press with them, especially if it's like a local person, you know, there might be a local newspaper for like, let's say an American goes to another country and competes, there might be a local newspaper that goes, we're going to write about this, our person being off in Australia or something like that. And so he got, I, I was writing about it, looking for references, like looking for like sources online, so articles, publishers, like we're covering the race. And I'm like searching in English and I'm getting no search results because I'm like, this is a really great time. I would guess there's press and there's like no English. I'm like, okay, so it's not being covered by the Americans, the, you know, like, or the English speaking press. The English speaking press isn't either paying attention or it's not worth publishing or, or not worth covering, right? They didn't put out articles on it. And so, and I was doing this at the time. So they might have published after and timestamped it earlier to make it look like they did, but they didn't kind of thing. And so then I was like, I took French 101 in college. I have a very narrow French vocabulary. Maybe what I should do is take my search result, like my search approach, searching on Google, search engine results, and instead mix it up and look for French language articles. So what I would do, or what I did, is search for his name, like the race dif distance, or... Uh, the word butterfly, so 100 meter butterfly in French is papillon. So I was like, okay, Grousset papillon, 
but wait, he swam this in other competitions before. So that might not be specific enough. And I was like, it's his first record in a butterfly event for France. So I was like, ooh, record is this tends to be a relatively transitory term between certain languages, including French. So I was like, I should look for Grousset Papillon record. Uh, since it's either the same or very close in languages such as like French and Spanish. Uh, French specifically. And that's what this is about. And so I searched for that and there were a bunch of results. There was um, written results, there were video clips published by French publishers, news agencies. I was just like flooded and I was like, ah, oh, he's covered. <laughs> and so I, I read some of those and took those and used them in my Lucky Wallaby Courier writing, LWC. And, and it was cool because I, I find writing about events like this, so this, the, this contextualization is me and specifically learning slash finding how to find lang um, press coverages or press coverage in a different language for him. Um, for something that did happen and the English world goes media blackout or if they're even paying attention right if they're paying attention the media blackout meaning they don't publish on the person even though they see it but if they're not paying attention then well I need people who are awake right and that's only the French and me because I published about it within a week right um and so and I don't lie about my publication date that's the good thing about publishing through YouTube, right? Is <laughs> they're in control, not me. And so I, I I thought it was cool, a cool race to cover to be like those little things, right? The very limited bo vocabulary I remember from my French 101 class actually helped me find coverage of this guy. And he wasn't neglected, he was covered. Um, uh, it, 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 it was also kind of cool. And I've written about other national championships before or just read on them, even if I don't um, necessarily like report on them. And it's, it's kind of cool to see how much the countries care about their people. And like some of these people how, are way better covered than like the Americans at national championships and stuff. And I'm just, it's, it's cool to see that much pride um, by countries for their own people. Um, I'm kind of like, that's not really, as someone who grew up in Washington state and we've had a number of Olympic Olympians and Olympian gold medalists and American record holders, um, world record holders and stuff like that um, from my state in my lifetime, like even just from the year 2000, uh, it, it's been, we don't, that from our homegrown Washington state, they didn't get that kind of coverage. Maybe Washington State should secede and then the press coverage can focus on the, the uh, rename Washington State Seattle or, or Seals, you know, and um, so we can actually read about our own people. Um, but I just, so there's a little bit of admiration for the press, um, French press and how they covered Maxime Grousset. And a little bit about Maxime Grousset, he is friends with my Leon. He's a Leon, he's a Frenchman. Leon goes, we need a Leon athletic performance contextualization. Perhaps. Perhaps I'll do some videos of, I saw Leon Marchand and Andre Minikov and Patrick Callan and Zaire Finn and Hubert Coase and Tori Husk and Claire Curzon and Lily Norman and Caitlin Dobler and other people I'm forgetting because I took a bunch of pictures. So I'm going to cut it off there intentionally, even if I already put a picture on your Wikipedia page. I apologize. Well, okay, we're, I'm cutting off there. Um, and there was a coach, but the coach, I could, oh, I could do an athletic performance contextualization for a coach. That would be cool. Taking the team to victory or something like that. Second largest winning margin in history. Point being, a link to the play, playlist for athletic performance contextualization is below. And... I'm not just writing from what I see online. I actually do go to swimming competitions. I have over, I, I have 12 years, 12 seasons of swimming, pool swimming competition experience. Yes. Now, 1999 to 2010, so let's count. 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 12. It can be, people like to do really fast mental math and say 11, but it was actually 12 because of the, you know, base 10 number system thing. Okay. Um, so it can confuse people. It can confuse myself. I, I, um, but I, yeah. So f swimming and I competed all four years, 
varsity and university all four years in high school swimming and lettered all four years I was team captain and stuff so this is not random when I'm not somebody with a lack of swimming experience just putting opinions out there I actually know something about swimming not that there's anything wrong with just putting opinions out there I think it's a sport where the more opinions the better I think there's like some people who are very opinionated trying to get a monopoly on everything and it's like in that case just let everybody say something you know that's kind of how I do it. And I like Maxime Grousset in this race. And he did phenomenal. And he was very handsome at the race. And at the finish, he was very professional and good sportsmanship. Leon and I go, thank you for being you, Maxime. If you are seeing this, we say thank you. We do. We say thank you.